It's Not Easy Being a Sloth by Taylor Hendricks. On a big tree in a jungle not too far from here, there once lived a little scrappy sloth named Sully. Sully the sloth was the most cheerful animal in the jungle who always knew how to make everyone's day. He was known as a happy sloth all the time. Sully had tons of friends and days filled with laughs. You could say that it was a great adventure each day in the life of Sully the Sloth. Now, even though Sully was a slow talker and walker and everything else, there was nothing that could make the little sloth sad. Well, almost nothing. You see, there was only one day when Sully was sad, and that was the annual racing day. It was the most exciting day, and everyone in the jungle waited and prepared for it all year round. On racing day, the animals proudly showed off the cars they had been building for the whole year, and then had a big race. Some of the fastest racers in the jungle competed for first place, as all the other animals cheered with anticipation from the sidelines. They hung out, ate, drank, and had a good time. But every year, Sully just couldn't enjoy it like everyone else. You see, for Sully the Sloth, watching from the sidelines was simply not enough. It would never be enough. So he applied to race every year, and every year he heard the same answer. Only fast animals can race. This year, however, Sully got an answer he had been waiting a very long time to hear. I want to apply to be a racer. Any team, any car will do, said Sully to Lionel, the old lion that was in charge of the applicants. He laughed at him and said, but you're just a sloth, little guy. Yes, but I'd really like to race, and I think I can win, Sully tried to explain. You won't stand a chance, son. Plus, this racing business is not for everyone. It's dangerous. Why don't you go up on a tree and enjoy the show? Nothing wrong with that, Lionel reasoned. Please, mister... I'll do anything. There's nothing wrong with watching, but I really want to race. It's my dream to be a race car driver. So he pleaded with the old lion. Look, <laughs> the teams are set for this year. But I'll tell you what, if it means that much to you, why don't you train for a year? If and only if you can find yourself a team next time, then I'll have no problem with you racing, said Lionel, chuckling in disbelief some more. And as Sully was slowly walking away, the lion muttered to himself, <laughs> There is no way a sloth can be a race car driver. For Sully, it wasn't the most positive answer, but there was a chance. That's all Sully wanted to hear. All he needed was this one chance, a plan, a little bit of hope, and the scrappy little sloth immediately got to work. To improve his reflexes and driving skills, Sully had to make his body move faster. <laughs> Not so easy for a sloth, but he kept going. He ran, he jumped, and ate the healthiest foods he could find. And as his body was getting stronger, his mind got sharper too. In just a few months, Sully moved more like a tiger than a sloth. All that training made him think better and faster too. The scrappy little sloth even made himself a wooden wheel and pedals to pretend like he was driving. Luckily, the track stayed in his memory perfectly. You see, at night, when there was no one on the jungle's racetrack, Sully would sneak in and inspect every little thing. He walked around it and made sure to remember absolutely everything. No detail was too small for Sully. And when he had every detail, every corner in his memory, it was time to find himself a car to practice with. The little sloth could finally see himself racing down that track, the wind breezing through his fur as he raced. All was going according to his plan. Now, Sully needed a car to race. Are you lost? The leopard's team director asked Sully. You want to join my team? He asked, laughing in shock. Yes, as a driver, Sully said confidently, beaming his best smile. As a driver? <laughs> Are you sure you're not lost? The leopard continued laughing and walked away, not sparing another thought for, for the sloth. 
Sally got the same response from almost all the other teams. It was hard. Nobody wanted to give him a chance, but he still didn't give up. He had to believe he would race. So he continued on. By the end of the day, Sully was left with just one option. The Bears. The Bears were by far the most inclusive racing team. They had brown bears, black bears, pandas, and even a few foreigners like koalas in the team. Sully knew they were his best chance of getting his own seat in a race car. Have you raced before? Teddy, the boss, asked him. No, but I know I can do it. I've been training for months now. No sloth has ever driven a car, let alone a race car. But I'll tell you what. I'll give you a seat for the whole day tomorrow. If you can hit the target time, we'll take you into consideration. Teddy said absently, scratching his chin, imagining a sloth as a race car driver. Hearing that, Sully started jumping up and down with happiness, a smile ear to ear. This was it, the moment he'd been hoping for all day. He ran home and went straight to bed to get enough sleep for the next day. First thing in the morning, Sully went excitedly to the track and got in the car. The little sloth's dream was starting to come true, and with that, he focused even harder. For the first few laps, he just drove slowly, around and around, getting used to the car. When he started racing, the sloth's lap times were terrible. But the most important thing was that each lap was better than the previous one. Sully got better with every lap and his determination grew. When he finally felt comfortable with the car, his hands, claws gripped the steering wheel with confidence and he blew past his teammates in a sloth-like blur of jungle dust. Teddy, who was sitting beside the track with a stopwatch, couldn't believe it, but his eyes weren't mistaken. When Sully got out of the car, he asked Teddy, how was that one? You, my friend, are the first ever race car driver. Congratulations, Teddy told him with a smirk of approval. Now the real work begins, Teddy added with a wink as he left. Sully was very happy, but his focus was now on the race. He needed to be ready for what he'd dreamed of for so long. Like Teddy had said, the even harder work was now. So with a fast car, all his to drive, he practiced all day, every day. When the race finally rolled around, Sully was more than ready. Even though he started last, he wasn't delayed. The scrappy little sloth quickly flew by his rivals. It was an exciting race with lots of overtakes and Sully quickly made his way to the front. This was it. He was in second place with just one lap to spare. He could feel his heart beating along with the engine's roar. The sloth was focused. He knew this was his moment. On the very last corner, Sully snuck in front of the leopard and crossed the finish line just a few inches in front of him. Sully was the new racing champion and all of the animals in, of the jungle cheered harder than they had ever before. Sully's friends rushed past the deafening crowd to raise their friend with pride. Who had ever thought they would say they were there the day the sloth won the race? With a lot of hard work, belief, and dedication, Sully the sloth achieved what was said to be impossible. And not only did he fulfill his biggest dream, he proved that when others say your dream is impossible, that is when you have to find the I'm possible in your dreams. After all, Sully proved that even sloths can go fast too, and so can you.